Now return to let's play Castle Vox. The World War One map. And I will be playing on medium again and random. And I have become Bulgaria, which is down here. So, let's see, Austria-Hungary and Germany and the Ottomans are on my side. Looks like the biggest threat I have right now is the UK down here. And the French held Cyrenaitia and Tripolitania. So anyway, the north uh, coast of Africa, well, Russia as well, I guess. So why don't we consolidate, and I'll just make more. This may or may not go very well. Yeah, we're already getting invaded, invaded by Russia. We just lost Moldavia. Um, well, let's make sure that doesn't happen again, and we will make knights. Because if we can take out the back here, except... Mm, UK just put down a bunch of uh, infantry back here. Which isn't good. We do have two capitals here. I guess everyone starts out with two. Interestingly enough, so... Oh, Italy's coming over. Well, we need to put a stop to that. I guess this isn't French. This is uh, Italy here, and this is France. I could come down here. Why don't I do that? And then they're probably just going to backdoor me by coming where I just left, because the computer likes to do that. Uh, I think I want to go reinforce these people. Maybe. Man, they're really building up here. This kind of worries me. They're already invading Germany, but Germany's got a hold in England. Wow. Moscow has got 15 now. That's not a good sign. Actually, let's move them here so we don't get reinvaded by Italy. I kind of think I should move these guys back. Although, I could just cause a little havoc and make them chase me. That 15 is going to be a problem. Okay. Well, actually, the UK isn't going anywhere. We're staying in Egypt. Make more knights and move these guys there. We'll just keep going along. Oh, I could also build a pawn. Let's build a pawn there. Actually, no, there's no reason to do that. Let's just build it in the capital, because I'm probably going to have to reinforce this sooner than, or later. Uh, I could move over here into the Urals. Uh, or they're going to do it for me. Oh, wow, there's a connection between those two? Well, I wasn't... Oh, I guess there is. Shoot, I wasn't aware of that. Um, actually, let's not... Well, help. Maybe I could take Naples. Uh, 
Maybe not. Because it's three horsemen there. I could maybe take Sicily too. We need more knights. Why am I not gaining very many bonuses? What are the bonuses down here? Doesn't really say if this is a bonus or not. So I could turn around and keep conquering Italy, or I could take this, but that's uh, easily taken by France, so let's not do that. I think Germany is in trouble up there. They're trying to slowly take Egypt, but they're not going to do it. Not with that kind of force. We have sort of cut them off. They're going to have to go through my territory to get that back. But maybe we can sneak in here and take Rome. And I think I'm just going to keep building this up. Let's see, can I get... I can get some more knights here. So maybe I can build up a force to take that on. Yeah, France and Italy are coming to retake that stuff. Uh, shoot. Moscow is reinforcing itself. And I completely got wiped out. Trying to take Rome. Okay, change of plans. We're going to go back this way. I don't think six knights or six cavalry will make much of a difference against 20 of those. I could send it up to the second capital, though, up to Petrograd. But I think once I abandon this, they're going to come down. But then again, if they abandon it, I can just turn around and take their capital, so let's risk it. Definitely going to need more down here. Okay, well, we've got 18 now. Let's try it anyway. If they send 20 that way, we're kind of screwed. I have a feeling that's what they're going to do. Maybe I can start coming down from the north along the boot here. took quite a few of them with us. Unfortunately, Germany doesn't have much of an army. What's the... yeah... 26. Actually, we're slightly... slightly better. They're, we're actually at the bottom of uh, the axis here. Let's try to move that over there. As far as gain goes... The UK is almost wiped out, though. They've only got two territories and six gain. Oh, damn. I hate that. There are too many small territories here. Okay, well, I need more knights. Cavalry. The Ottomans just need to focus on getting the UK out of Egypt. How is Russia... They're just... I don't see how they're getting that many reinforcements when they don't really have that many... I mean, they've got a gain of seven right now. I'm not really sure what's going on. They've got an awful lot of troops. Looks like... Uh, UK is actually almost invaded. The only thing left is down here. That's where all their forces are. France, on the other hand, has quite a lot in Paris. 
Okay, so now I think we can stand a chance here in Rome. I would hope. Boy, I don't know if I should send these guys. I guess I'll just keep sending them down until I have a force that can take this out, because it doesn't look like the Ottoman Empire is going to do much. Hooray, Rome was conquered by Bulgaria. All they've got left is Piedmont. Piedmont. Um, they'll probably move in there, actually. I think 12 knights would conquer 12 infantry. I might want to wait on that, though, actually, because they've got 24 over here in province. We're actually doing okay. Because if you look at the territories, the Allies are losing. I mean, Russia, with 23 here, Russia could easily take out these small armies and just march its way down. But it's not doing anything like that. Same with the UK. Okay, I think we can take this. Famous last words. So we now have a forward base there. Not like we're going to need it much longer. I think I should just start sending them down. That should be a big enough force. Right now I need to focus on going that way. Italy is done. And that should be big enough to take that. So let's send these guys back. Let's put in more units there. I'm really... I mean, I'm only gaining 24. I guess because the bonuses aren't very big on this map. Five in Paris. That is going to be a major effort. But as soon as everyone stops dicking around in the back here... Oh, crap. We got crushed. But now, I mean, the Ottomans have enough. They should be able to do something. I would hope not if they're only going to send in there you go. That's the UK done. Huh. Uh, and I've got ten there. That's not enough. I'll just uh, sort of sacrifice these guys and send them into Paris just to try and whittle down some of what they've got because it's not worth it to send them all the way over here. <laughs> I actually did pretty bad. 
I'm in third place, sort of fourth place, depending on what you're looking at here in Germany. Yeah, we'll just sort of sacrifice these guys. Just keep throwing them in there, whittle them down. That's sort of what Germany's been doing here. Every time they try and reinforce, they just throw troops in there to uh, get rid of some of the advantage. Okay, we took out quite a bit. Now our allies should be able to take out plenty. So I guess now I'll just start building up in here. There we go. Russia is gone. All we have left is France. So it will be... A slow, slow build-up. I'm kind of disappointed that I'm not actually getting much of a bonus. They really made this map so that it only benefits the person with the most territories, because Austria-Hungary has uh, 46 gain, which is almost twice what we have, and I just... I don't think there are any country bonuses, actually, or continent bonuses. Yeah. Everyone's only getting the bonus for the territory. That would explain a lot. Oh, they're down to 16. We want some of that. Hooray! We conquered Paris. The Centrals win! I was calling them the Axis, wasn't I? All noble enthusiasms pass through a feverish stage and grows wiser and more serene. Okay, that's the end of that. I think we're almost done with this Let's Play. There's only so many times I can do this, but we will see you next time.